yoga. It's a hatha yoga to everyone who is speaking now. We're gonna focus in our external hip and our quads. Everybody is welcome. See you on your mat when you're ready. We're gonna begin in Sutta Suchirandrasana, lying on our, our back of the mat. We're gonna bend our hands 90 degrees if it is possible. Bend both knees, left feet on the ground, and figure for your right feet. We're gonna twisting to the right, dropping your right leg to the right. This is a great pose to reduce back pain, keeping your sciatic nerve active. Right feet is on top on your left thigh. You swap side, right feet on the mat and figure for your left feet, twisting to the left. Reduce the tension from our upper back and shoulders as we 90 degrees our shoulders on the mat. Couple more breath. Come back to the center. We're gonna roll ourselves to the mat and meet me in Adomukha Svanasana. Push the floor away, tuck your toes and lift your knees off the floor. Pedal your feet as this is the first Adamukha Svanasana. When you're ready, you can lift your right leg to the sky. I'm sorry, left leg to the sky and bend your left knees. Stay here to stretch the quads and bring our left knee in between our hands. Point your toe, right toes left hand is beside your knees with your right hand we're gonna pull our left chest to the front as we twist it to the right right hand to the sky kneeling under chandrasana a yoga therapy for epilepsy open your chest as you keep the tensions on your left shoulders with your left thigh come back down Pivot your left feet 45 degree and we're gonna lower ourselves down to Skandasana. Right leg are straight and pointed, hands in your yoga mudra. Stretching your inner thigh, your hamstrings and groin on the extended leg. While we stretching our left ankle. Frame your front feet. Slowly pivot your left knee on the ground, left hand stay on the mat as we do a kneeling Ardha Chandrasana. Sorry, just now was Sanjanayasana. So lifting your right leg using your left feet to keep your balance. Great yoga therapy for epilepsy. Lowering both hands to the floor and bring your left knee to left elbow. Hold. Palak asana. Fingers spread wide and active. Shoulders are aligned with your wrist. Push the floor away. Next inhalation, bring your left feet to the sky. Legs are straight, slowly bend your knees. Feel the stretch on your right hamstring. Next inhalation, left feet in, frame your left feet in between your hands and we're gonna twist it to the left side. Hand in Anjali Mudra Heart Center. Paribrata Prasvakon Asana. Left knee are 90 degree bend to the mat. Knees are above your ankle. Back leg are straight and pull your knee cups. Untwist and we're gonna do a vinyasa flow. Urva Mukha Svanasana and Adho Mukha Svanasana. We take a pause. Stretch your hamstring as you push the floor away. 
tailbone to the sky Shoulders away from the ears Grabbing a mat And shoulder blades away Next inhalation, right leg to the sky And bend your knees We're gonna do the other side Stretch your right quads Point your feet Bring your right knee in between your hands. Pivot your back knees down. Right hand resting at the right side of your knees. Use your left hand and bring your lower chest to the front. Twisting to the left. Left hand to the sky. Anjaneyasana open twist. Leaning on your thigh as you open your chest. Couple more breath. Lowering your hands. Pivot your back, your front feet 45 degree. Straighten our left leg in Skandasana. A great pose to increase your blood flow, keeping your lower limbs strong. Hand in Anjali Mudra. You can stay a bit upright if it is not in your practice or you can lower all the way down like I did. Welcome Kukatus to our practice outside. Lower our right knees down and we're gonna do transitions to kneeling Ardha Chandrasana. Right hand on the mat in line with your right knees, left hand to the sky, left leg off the floor. Point your left feet, pull the kneecaps, engage your core as you use your bottom feet to keep your balance. Slowly lowering yourself down, bring your right knee to your right elbow, Falak Asana, knee to elbow. A great pose to improve your overall strength, flexibility, joint health and heart functions. Pripara Aramukha Svana Asana as you exhale, right leg to the sky, stretching your left hamstring. Bend your right knee and bring your right knee in between your hands. Pivot your back feet and twisting to the right. Left elbow on, the, on your right thigh. Back leg are straight and heels off the floor. Keep the tensions in your Anjali Mudra as you're twisting to the right. Parivirta Parasvakon Asana. Well done guys. Frame your front feet and we're gonna do Vinyasa flow. With your own pace, meet me in Aramukha Svanasana. Slowly, we're gonna lie on our back Again, prepare for the Chakrasana. Hands can touch your heels. Make sure your heels are as close as your bum. Fingers are in line with you, facing you as you push the floor away. Shoulders are engaged and lifted. Shoulder blades together, active armpit and inner elbows. As you push the floor, hips are square and lifted. Knees are hip width apart. Glutes are engaged to protect your back. When you're happy now, lowering yourself down and we're gonna do three counter pose. Pava Mukhasana, hug your knees. Wide knee huggings. And rolling side to side to massage your back. Then we're gonna do Ananda Balasana with your hands reaching from the inner side of your feet. Bend both knees to the sky, feet facing the sky. Rocking side to side, giving your back some gentle massage. 
relax our lower back. Next, Pavamuttasana, hugging our knees to our nose. Hold for three count and release. Shavasana. We breathe, we move, we stay, and we breathe again to release and relax. I will call you when it is time. Choose your favorite side. You're gonna bring yourself up in Sukhasana or Padmasana if it is within your practice. On the next inhale, we'll bring both palms to the sky, gathering all the energies towards you and bow forward. Thank you everyone for practice with me. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the